Hello everyone, this is Antilles Gaming here, and today we are back on Metro Exodus Sam Story. Okay, so if I sound like I'm talking a little low, yeah, I couldn't, I don't know what's going on today, but like I really just could not get any sleep, and usually playing a game kind of helps uh, get whatever energy I have out. So I figured also, why not go ahead and just record a episode while I'm at it. So, yeah, it's actually around like a. Uh, oh! It's a uh, 1.44 right now. But. So, if I'm whispering, it's just because I don't want to wake anyone up. But it shouldn't be that big an issue. As for me, I'm not tired. Like. Like I said, I, I've been trying to fall asleep and I just can't. So, yeah. D that's just a heads. Sorry. Okay, so in the last episode, if y'all remember, I said I was going to go back and uh, arm the traps. I now have all the traps armed, like that. So I did go back and do that. Right now, we're on our way somewhere to get a hazmat suit, so we can go then bleh bleh bleh. So we can then go get the fuel rods to refuel the sub. I don't know where, well, I know where the suit is, with the suits that we need, I do know where it's at, it's at the, uh, he said it was at, uh, the fire station, for some reason I thought that was a, <laughs> I thought that was a boat or something, yeah, he said that they have some at the fire station. Let me see if I can find where that is. Huh. Pretty good distance away. Where's the submarine parked? If I had to guess, I would say the submarine was probably parked. Oh, wait, that building way over there? That's that has to be where the uh the building that has the symbol on it, that has to be where the suits are. I'm guessing the submarine's probably right here? Like, in that direction I'm looking? Well. <sighs> Note to self. If I'm walking around, have my... have my little thing so I can see where the bombs are. <sighs> okay, so we're back. I also noticed that there is a boat right here. So I think we're gonna take that. Yeah, I'm not talking too loud because I'm. There it is. Yeah, I was trying to focus on a uh, where. One mine. Yeah, I was trying to focus on where that was. So yeah, looks like we got a boat. Okay, really, they couldn't put the one with the cushion. They couldn't put the seat with the cushions right there. Like, really? Oh boy. Uh. Oh wait, can we even? <sighs> I guess this one would find out. Yeah, I was about to say, like in the, uh, in one of the other episodes, like where. We had to leave the boat behind, like, I was thinking, okay, why give us the option for the boat if, like, why give us the option for the boat if they're barely even gonna let us use it? But I guess now it makes sense. But there are other ways to use it. 
Okay, look, I think if I go this way, I can loop around and then get to where I need to be. Basically, the boats are kind of like with the, uh, the same concept with the truck. Like, yeah, I could walk where I gotta be, but... Eh, I... This is like the fir the first time like we had boats, so I kind of want to use them as much as possible. Although, <clears throat> wait, I think that I yeah, I actually think that I can get there. I actually think I can get through there with the boat. I just gotta take it slow. Yep. Okay, what direction? Okay, we gotta take a take a right up ahead. Dock the boat here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so it sounds like the submarine is over there. Which... I don't get why that's... Threw me off guard. I mean, that is where... Saw it at. Okay, uh. Okay, so I don't know. I know that I'm supposed to get there, but I don't know how. So I'll be right back when we get inside the, uh. I'll be right back when we get inside the place, because right now I'm a little lost. And I'm about to die. <sighs> Finally, managed to find a way around. Had to take another course of action to get here. Ended up going to this bandit camp. Really, there wasn't really all that much interesting there. But then I found this, and honestly, I think this is a lot more interesting. Okay, so on the other side of the bridge that I, like back there. Oh no. Yeah, on the other side of the uh, area I just came from, there's a, uh, there were two scouts for Tom and they kind of warned me about about the uh the demon being close they were telling me that they didn't see it but that they could hear it and that it sounded injured i wonder why Right now, a shotgun would definitely come in handy, but like I said, I'm not ditching my 1911. Look, it's not just that. I'm not just holding on to it only because it's. Okay, look, when it comes to the 1911 in this game, I'm not just holding on to it because it's one of my favorite pistols of all time. I'm also holding on to it just because it's 
very useful when it comes to having to do stealth stuff. I think I can get out through here. Oh boy. Okay, I do not have time for you. Okay. So, how the heck am I supposed to avoid that? Oh boy. I feel this is gonna be one of those annoying kind of boss fights. The uh, I think those are no solaces. I guess when they saw that it was injured, they decided let's just go ahead and take it advantage of that. Let me go ahead and do a quick save just in case. Oh, jeez. I wonder if it. Thanks, Tom. 
I will. Good luck, Sam. Of course it's a landmine. I mean, it's a minefield. Should be good here. You stay your butt away from me. So where's the storm supposed to hit? There's all I'm here. I think I can make it into that building. Oh boy, I gotta move now. Climb the ladder. Come on, Sam. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. <sighs> Talk about close. <sighs> well, it looks like there's some good supplies here. But yeah, talk about we got here just in time. Yeah, I see the troop wire. I wonder what's supposed to be going on. Well, never mind, it's probably to. It's probably like a safe house or something, and that's to uh, just keep them out. Well, I'll say this about the storms, I really don't last long. I mean, the storm's are already over. But still, with the amount of time these things last, they still last long enough to kill me. Don't know if that's Thompson. That's not Tom's insignia. Come on, come on, go on. Oh, uh, something else I'd like to point out. Uh, I found a new grip. Basically, uh, in the area where y you set in the traps for the captain. There, there's this uh, bed that is in one area. Uh, you, you remember the area whenever I was uh, walking on the outside er outside a uh, catwalk, and then there was a mutant. Yeah, so if you go there, there's like this uh, there's a bed and there's a pistol underneath the pillow. And it has the grip on it. Thank you very much. Looking at you, you know. 
That's where I was trying to get in earlier. Why is the suppressor not equipped? <sighs> oh, not a show. there goes a stealth. I'll take that. All I need to do is just get past this area. Maybe I can... I cannot. I was gonna say maybe I can try to salvage this, but... Some health, so ain't opening this one. Okay, uh, window. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be an area that I could stealth, but uh, blew that out the window when I didn't select. Guys at the outpost mentioned some. D okay, I think it has to be like a combination or something. Okay, I want to figure out this combination because there should be something good in there. So yeah, I'll be right back whenever we figure this out. Okay, so the combination is that, that, and that. In that order. There better be something you... Yes, there is. Oh yeah, that is a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah, you definitely want to come in here. Okay, let me go ahead and put uh, the attachments on my pistol. Long barrel with full auto. Ugh. It's a long barrel, but I don't like full auto on my pistols. Just because full auto on a pistol, you blow through the ammo way too fast.
like it can be good but in some situations not as much just because like I said you you just blow through the ammo way too fast now if it was just an extended barrel then yeah I'd be all for it but Yeah, another thing I found out about these bandits is they're the kind that like to trap the, uh... They're the kind that like to trap the... The, uh, mutants. I'll take that. I'll take your stuff. Yeah, they're like... They're the ones that like to trap the mutants to sell as whatever that can't be the ones that the guys warned me about because they said it had like their symbol was a skull with night vision oh boy I need to find a crafting bench Oh, hello. We're in deep shit! How are you kidding me? Yeah, as you can see, they got the mutants all locked up in there. <laughs> I mean, Taming feral humans, like, which as what the mutants are, they're feral human. Well, it's your win, man. I'll leave him be since he surrendered. Yeah, every time they surrender, I always decide to show him peace. How do I open that? Okay, so I need to find... Okay, dude, I decided to spare you, so don't give me a reason to go back on that. Because, look, if you're gonna... Be nice to me, well then, yeah, I'm going to be nice to you and not give you a concussion, but that can change if you decide to be brave. Ah, the real. Wait a minute. Isn't this... Hmm. Oh boy. Okay, so... It looks like we're actually approaching the end of our time, because we're at the, uh, on my thing is saying that we got like two minutes left, so I think I'm gonna call it for this episode, and then next episode we'll head on over there and do what we need to do. <sighs> I gotta say, I'm genuinely surprised with how long just in case, also I didn't want all the background stuff. I gotta say, I'm genuinely surprised with how long this DLC is. Like, it's actually lasting a pretty good while. Like, it has, like, an actual story to it. It actually gives me more of the, uh, it actually gives me flashbacks to the main story, like the vanilla game, when you're on the desert, 
except instead of a desert, it's more water, which is a point I was making earlier, which I think that's kind of what they were going for, like, give us kind of the opposite of the, I think that was the, uh, I forgot the name of the area, I know what the area is, I just don't remember what the name of it. I was going to say the taiga, but I don't think that's right. But, yeah. Yeah, we're now at the... We have now, like, one minute left of my time frame. So, yeah. We're going to leave this episode here. And p next episode, we'll head on over, get our hazmat suit, and then go get those fuel rods. So, yeah. So, with all that being said... Thanks so you so much for watching. If you like to subscribe, leave a like, and as always, please leave me a comment down below. Because I do read your comments, I do reply to them, because your comments are the only way that I can improve on these, and I do love talking to y'all. Also, if you want to chat directly or check out updates on the channel, check me out on my Twitter and Instagram at Antilles Gaming. I also live stream every Friday at 7.30 Central on Twitch. Twitch name is Antilles Gaming. Lately, uh, though, I've been a little busy on Fridays because of my schedule. So, on fr every Friday, check my check my Twitter. I will have an update on if there will or will not be a live stream. So, yeah. And with all that being said, I will see all of you in. The next episode.